Hey everyone, I got a bit of a question for you guys. Do you want some free games, huh? I know you do, I know you do. But no, I mean that's not that's not the that's not the the main point of the video or not. Usually, I mean, I usually don't you know do all this stuff and whatnot. But uh, for this time, I actually you know, I'd actually just throw myself in. I mean, I don't actually want to bash any scammers or not. But there's a little something that I want to actually notice it, to tell you guys or whatnot. So some time ago, let's say one of my one of my friends, they actually uh, they were actually telling me about let's say uh, how to get myself some. Free Steam cards and money, whatnot, huh? We all know we, we we ever want that. We dream of that, whatnot, right? <sighs> well, but there's a problem about that too. I mean, usually because not everything is what it seems. Because let's do something a little artistical and interesting, shall we? You know, this side here, I want you guys to take a good look at it. A very very beautiful look at it. All the all the games and all the menu and all the colors and all the logos and everything. Take a good look at it. It's gonna be quite important too, especially the link. Especially the link. That's for sure. <laughs> Usually, of course, for Steam. Of course, this is there. This is all the official website. But uh, <laughs> take a look at this here, just so that uh, your that the uh, your lies wouldn't be deceived and whatnot. This is, you can see here that, <coughs> you can see here on this, on this little one here, I mean, I've, I don't know if you can actually have the other full screen mode or not, but, oh, well, let's suppose you do. This here is the official Steam site, right? You can see here on the icon here, it's all flawless, beautiful, right? But this one here is actually different. You can see here the little white little dots here too, that, uh, it means that something's a little wrong too, that like you get like that one little scratch behind the ear. Now, if we look over here, ah, what look at that, eh? Free Steam gift card code. Wow! Holy shit! Your twenty, your twenty dollar code has been reserved. Hey, it looks good, right? Wrong. That's of course one of let's say. <clears throat> it's actually one of one actually of their own let's say different thing whatnot. But, but yeah, I mean, it, it is actually quite, quite very, you know, uh, where it looks very affiliated with the Steam. You can see here, like, the the big, beautiful Hitman, Headman in the background. You can see, like, the big, bald bastard with his gun, with his pistol and little gangs here, and a big, beautiful house here in the, on the little blue background, right? It's all beautiful, I know. Except that, like, this, this side here actually raising quite a few red flags, and, you know... Uh, because usually one of my friends not too long ago, he actually, well, like, I can't really say, of course, how that he did it, but to me, I, I usually haven't been in, like, a, a Steam trade site, or, well, trade server, that is, or anything of the, of the least, but I just, uh, want to actually showcase this all to you guys, that, uh, a few red flags, too, that not just Steam, but other things as well. I tried, of course, uh, let's say, even looking up uh, Bandicam here, you can see here, alright? This little uh, beautiful red button. I tried to, you know, get myself like the uh, the full free register version. No problem whatsoever, but it's actually a very, very huge shit show. For one place that you would actually ex expect, of course, for the, for the damn thing to actually, uh, to actually get everything here, it's fucked it's literally fucked anyways you can see here also that uh, right here below that at least these guys I mean whoever whoever made this was at least uh, had the decency to put here that uh, a corporate copyright 2017 steam community all rights reserved all trademarks are property of their respective owners in the US and other countries this website is not affiliated in any way with the Valve Corporation or any of their partners. Steam is a registered trademark of the Valve Corporation. Valve Corporation, I mean. So you can see here too that uh, at least this site here, it's not it's not Steam. It's not it's not Steam at all. But you know, it's just an example too. Like uh, at least we at least hey, I mean, if the guy says you like it, thanks, man, or whatever it is. But anyway, like, uh, usually, 
what it means to like say whenever let's say someone clicks on a link like this it always I say like builds up and whatnot and uh, and it likes you know it starts to say to build up quite a lot of creepy stuff and into it and whatnot and also another thing too that some people actually believe that uh, your twenty dollar code has been reserved at two R four A will that be a code huh you might be asking don't fall for that it ain't. You actually can you actually if you want you can actually let's say at this at this moment go to your steam put on add a game mash all the buttons that you want in it but you won't get any but you, I mean like uh, in order in hopes to actually get a game or not but uh, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get anything so easily even same thing with the uh, steam card or whatnot because let's face it because for one that is similar to what a steam uh, gift card looks like but it isn't, so keep that in mind. Uh, of course, I know that I might let's say right, let's say to just butcher out the scam or not this guy, but it's educational. I mean, I have to educate this guy here, so at least for a lot of you know moral and ethical reasons, at least at least which I believe. <sighs> so we have here this all this uh, this specific number here of. Uh, one zero four two three two st free Steam gift cards have been redeemed today. So, if that actually let's let's uh, get the, that one over there because I find actually pretty pretty useful too. Let's get this here. Gonna get my here little calculator and see about this. So, to, let's see how this site here works. So, in order to get your twenty dollars Steam gift card, for one, you actually get get say about. Uh, 15 people, right? If you click on the referral link, which I'm not gonna do that at all. I mean, if it was really, really legitimate business, but it isn't. I'm sorry, but it isn't. It's usually because, let's say, it's money involved. But if it's money to go to the Steam account, then how is it go? How is it even working, too? I mean, where did I get the money and whatnot? Because, of course, uh, it might sound like a little bit of robbery if you think about it. And because, you know, the low robbery or whatnot, you shouldn't do that. No, usually because it usually means that something is wrong. And I definitely don't want it to go wrong. But anyways, let's do the math here. So, <clears throat> one, zero, four, two, three, two times 15 and we got this amount of let's say sorry there you go you can see here like this the amount of people that I, that uh, you know statistically would have fallen for this uh, for this website in a way statistically speaking about if it's even the proper term to even let's say let's even calculate about it but you know it is what it is okay also also also, even as it say too, let's say even here this this Steam gift card here, you can see like it's zooming and whatnot. I think I had myself here some used Steam cards which I used some time ago, but did I throw them all in the garbage? <clears throat> Hold on. I don't think. No, no. Sorry guys, but uh, but yeah. In case you're actually wondering about here, what does the actual Steam gift card look like? Let's Google it. Steam gift card. $20. There we go. Images. You can see how the different, how, how, I mean, how different or different looks like. Of course, like say for 20 euros, $20 and so on, even for 52. But... Personally, I'm more or old school. Personally, I, that's why I prefer to actually go out, go out, let's say to the game stores and buy the gift cards to myself. Sure, of course, the term the, from the term gift cards. It sounds like if you if I'm buying to myself, it's not a gift. But you know, with a lot of actually a lot of things, of course, is going around. Let's say uh, your credit card number or or mysteriously uh, funds appear out of nowhere. You might be asking yourself, like, where did that even come from? That's of course a question you should always ask yourself. Like, where does it even come from? This the, the funds and whatnot, because 
if it literally uh, if it literally have come some some funds into your into your steam account that didn't came out of nowhere someone did put it into your account and believe me I believe sooner or later that they might even do something to your account I they might fully steal it they might hack it they might get all your steam inventory I don't know it all depends on the scammer and whatnot because sometimes they even as far as I know that they they might have like say some sort of hard to it to even stop and get in whatnot but yeah, I don't know some of them just straight up greedy or whatnot just gonna gobble up everything you know and good luck getting it back because if you look at here the steam support let's go here for the steam support or better yet what people are looking for contact steam support right let's take a look at that to contact steam support for any purchase or specific item error you'll need to visit steam's website to do so click from the steam launcher then select steam support to navigate huh okay let's see here hmm holy hell what's this here recovery mm-hmm how to contact steam steam hard 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 okay let's supposedly go on I mean, it's not just an emulation, why not? To sign into your Steam account to review purchases, account status, and get personalized help. So that's what we expect the most, right? But I don't see here, like, a button here to say contact Steam and whatnot, because, uh, I don't know. But let's say, suppose that we fell from those scams and some bastard got ourselves an account, right? So let's see here, I got myself a half of my account, right? We can now get some to manage account details, family library sharing, family view, Steam Guard, phone number, see mobile arena, account is stolen or hijacked, right? Let's see this one. Boom. What do I do if my account Steam oh what, oh here we go. What do I do if my Steam account is as stolen? If your Steam account has been stolen or hijacked, you should complete the steps for recovering your Steam account. Number skip uh, step number one, scan your computer. Viruses, key loggers. If you don't know what a key logger is, like let's say you punch in your key, your password on the uh, on the computer, right? The key logger is simply just gonna register every single button you pressed, and then send it somewhere to, and then somewhere to, somewhere in a globe to someone to access all your shit. Uh, be careful all the all the shit you get. Yeah, and then uh, spywares and other malicious codes can actually steal your steal Steam account name, password. Before we before resetting <coughs> your Steam account's password, you should you should run viruses, grab virus and spyware scanners to ensure such programs are not on your computer. Right, change your email's password. Steam accounts are commonly compromised after associated email address is compromised. Change the password on your email account to ins will ensure a hijacker can't steal your Steam account a second time, or does it? I don't know. Usually because I don't have like a lot of faith in these things, but we'll see. Or interfere with assistance from, or interfere with assistance for seeing support. And as always, never share your password. Never. Never give your Steam account password to a friend or individuals who might ask for it. Ah, it's individual. Like your, I don't know, whatever the hell you never want to, you don't want to share. Steam support representative will never ask for a password, so keep that in mind. Use official Steam websites. Only enter your password into a st uh, official Steam website, such as steampower.com and steamcommunity.com. These pages will, in will include an extended validation certificate, which most, most up-to-date modern browsers will identify with a green text or a green highlight in the address bar with the Valve Corporation US near the address. If you suspect the site is asked for your log information that is not a Steam website, do not enter any information the site and disregard it. Learn about how to secure an account. If you find additional information on how to, how to secure your account and protect yourself from, about, from account hijacking and phishing by visiting Steam support account security recommendations. They're going to have that too.
It's actually all there. I mean, I don't, I don't even have to put in the the video description whatsoever. Recover my account. Once you sure that uh, you're the computer and you are using your email or account secure, you can recover your Steam account by changing your password. Also, let me let me throw you this here. Even though like this might sound like a might make me sound like a shill or whatnot, but still, there's actually quite a little of interesting little little uh, well little handy little item here too. Apart here from the game that I have on my, my on my mobile here, you can see here that on the Steam here, there's a Steam app. You can actually log in or whatnot. It's actually going to throw, let's say, random codes for your, that will that will actually require validation or not. And if you're creative, then you might as well just use these codes to even build new passwords and whatnot. But that's just my uh, that's just my let's say recommendation or suggestion what you can do. But before you actually do that kind of stuff, I recommend you get a pen and paper so you can note down some pretty complicated codes and whatnot. But still, but still, I mean, just uh, do keep in mind with your with all the account security and whatnot. I have always been really, really skeptical and whatnot, ever more so now than ever. Of course, in the past, I used to let's say used to play around on trading website. Uh, and, no, it's not trading websites. Forget about trading websites. They're they're never a good thing to go for. What I mean is trading servers. Team Fortress 2. Well, only Team Fortress 2 that I was played at the time. I mean, I might still play play around Team Fortress 2, but you know, times change, methods change, and whatnot, and people's personality change too. Meaning that uh, whatever you prefer, that uh, the damn thing would actually work for you know the. Uh, for the Steam, uh, for your Steam inventory, on you know whatever, whatever the hell you you own, some guy, some dude might come up with some very weird program, and of course just dump what all you own to his account and whatnot. But usually, something sometimes things cannot always be traced and whatnot. But still, but still, what can we do, right? Even I, even I heard as well too that even Twitter accounts when they're you know, hijack or whatnot. I even hear that people seek other hackers to actually hack their account back or whatnot. Or so far as I know, but then again, to actually entrust the uh, let's say for a for a hack to hack get your account back, something you should actually ask yourself is: Do you really trust the guy? And should you really trust the guy too? You never know what people's true intentions would actually be. Until they're shown. But yeah, now let's get back here to the uh, quote unquote scam uh, site here. As you can see here, we got here the uh, Valve Corp, and over here, there's none. So there's that. And even even just because I like, zoomed in like a, like the regular Steam, uh, Steam site or whatnot, as you can all see, it's not affiliated with any way because, hey, I mean, it's gotta be, gotta have some legal stuff to it, right? Otherwise it'll be illegitimate to the core. But yeah. Also it doesn't show here well, no login because thankfully let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. And and yeah. Because it is true, I mean we all want uh, to play free games and whatnot. How I mean even let's say two let's say sometimes let's look up here, shall we? Oh, come on already. Okay, scram. We don't want you now. Yeah, my computer have a, has a bit of, say, uh, problems in connect the damn wi connect to the damn Wi-Fi whatnot for some goddamn reason. But, I mean, it is. Or just uh, the Steam launcher is just glitchy as usual. But yeah, I mean, this is just an example here for a, for a website that you could always, uh, you can always be aware of, too. Of course, I mean that uh, to get the the frames the free Steam gift card code that it could work, it could work, but to some extent. Let's say that I was the owner of this site, right? How can I get to let's say to get myself some more free games, right? Huh? And that's where greed steps in. One of the se seven deadly hu se seven deadly sins from the Bible. Of course, I know some people who are atheists, Jewish, and is Muslim and so on, and I respect that. But then again, 
usually because that's a uh, let's say it's just human nature it's just a form of saying but back again let's let's, let's not deviate to some philosophical debates because greed is of course what we always want to get and whatnot but let's say that I was the owner of this website here you click on on my uh, and this on, on my website's link steam community and the side there for the ref to get yourself like a this beautiful this beautiful tasty code to get the uh, the steam the, the steam code right it could work that it could work are you really comfortable and all that, huh? Ah, we'll see about that. Because over time, when you least expect it, I could at least uh, see all your delicious items in your in your inventory on Steam, your games and everything else you own. Hell, I mean your entire account I could just take to myself and actually transfer all the games to my actual account. But I don't know. But I don't know, I mean, because, like I said, greed and whatnot. There's a lot of, there's a lot of let's say, uh, there's a lot of ways and reasons like this could work or whatnot, because, like you said, people do want, you know, free stuff. And some of them are just, uh, you know, so desperate enough to actually ignore the costs and whatnot. So, speaking of which, just for laughing, Ah, why do you know about that? Mm-hmm. There's another red flag over here. Okay, so in case you didn't notice, uh, you didn't actually notice what I actually pointed out, for one, here, official Steam site, right? For some reason, it doesn't have this uh, little thing here, right? Ah. Well. Anyways, we'll see it. Well, anyways, uh, we'll see about that too. But you can see here, and also here too. Let's say the steampower.com, and over here on the, on, the, on the supposed scam site, as you can say, this little fella here too. Uh, dead giveaway, dead giveaway. But then again, usually because from a link address, they cannot actually duplicate or not. Because hey, that would be that would be pretty goddamn fucked up. It's like two houses. Same address, well, not not the road address, but address as they say. Uh, no, but let's say the house is just like a uh, three one five, and the other house is three one five. You want to get to to house three one five, so you follow the directions and get to the get to the house the location where the house three one five is. But getting there, you see two houses three one five. Which one do you? Which one is it? You know the one is it has the people actually waiting for you, but the other has someone that might kill you. Which one do you trust? But of course, I'm also just uh, being a little cynical too. But also another thing is that, uh, like over here, as you can see, that the link here, you can see it as, as a pushable button. As you can see, I click here with the uh, with the middle button, with the middle button here, the mouse. You usually, open a new, a new tab, on any web browser. But instead of opening this site, you can see where would it open this site? Ah, huh? what do you know? Step one: Reserve a code from our database. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I, I generally, I generally don't want. It. I mean, I mean, I do appreciate that that uh, you actually are holding the the Steam gift card, uh, you know, for it. But like I said, I'm, like I said, I mean, we don't know who's on the other side of the, of the screen. We don't know who made it. We don't know who this works, and and most importantly, we don't know the outcome of it, right? You know, like also, like uh, as much as uh, as much as uh, Steam really wishes to keep their uh, see their users uh, clean, so add so the legit users can have their own. Let's say, uh, well, let me just turn on the damn thing here. As I was saying, uh, you do want to let's say have a have a beautiful experience with friends or whatnot. Thing is, again, uh, there's that's not always going to be the case. Twitter, Facebook, fucking emails. Whatever, whatever the case may be, there's always someone greedy and always waiting for your date for your details to get it. And and I don't know. I mean, it's like a they, they do want it desperately. They do want it really, really desperate. What you got or whatnot. 
But I don't know, I mean... I clicked this site, uh, but I, of course I see a bit of a... Uh, bit of my own sin here, that I did click this site here. It was actually from one of my friends on Twitter. I'm not gonna say who it is. I am not gonna say who it is, but... Uh, usually because, hey, I, I do really like the person, even though we don't talk a lot, but... You know, I do like him a lot, but that's why I, I don't want to name him. To protect him. See? I might be I might be cold and crazy at some times, but at least have a heart <clears throat> at times. But also back to what I was saying as well too, like uh, I don't want actually to let's see have people losing their shit to some to someone who they don't even really know or not. But it's true. We we do want to see some to get ourselves or whatnot, and uh, even it doesn't really matter that uh, on the Steam free to play games. Uh, Actually, let's go here to Steam anyways. We, I don't actually want to, let's say, wait, to, wait my ass off for just uh, one little glitchy software to just work on why not? But you know, games here, free to play. That is actually an interesting idea that Valve have, of course, to put some free to play games or whatnot. It's actually a very, very interesting idea to, to work with it. But, does that mean that everyone actually wants to get their hands? Everyone actually are just gonna let go of their of the hacking and just go for it? Of course not. Why would they? Sometimes if you wanna know a hacker, you gotta think like a hacker. <clears throat> you gotta imagine it yourself in a place of a hacker in a very realistic point and see what what you do about it, right? But also, let's admit too that uh, here in a f in a free to play games here. There's a lot of, let's say, people who do, let's say, put out quite a lot of, you know, beautiful stuff that they, that they do, that they actually want, let's say, to, I don't know, probably have some credit or whatnot. And I sense, too, that some people are actually, with my sixth sense, are actually laughing at this one, B. What do you mean, B? It's simple. Let's take a closer look at it, shall we? Because over here we got sexual content mm -hmm. we got psychological horror nudity and it's also free to play okay but I don't understand <laughs> I mean how can this actually be really all that bad I mean so far it looks like a cute little innocent game could it be could it be that thing for the trolls huh we never know or if the guy actually puts it over there he might actually uh be interested into uh, probably I don't know just uh, getting getting things done okay so we don't I don't actually see how this game here could actually contain a psychological horror or or nudity or any sexual content so it's probably like being like a bit of uh, clickbait I don't know I don't know if I actually should actually just poke around for YouTube and uh, why not? Because I might be wrong too at the same time. Clickbait or not, we don't know. And I sure as hell don't want to know. But also, if you do actually want to have yourself like a proper gameplay, <coughs> a proper gameplay of a good game that I actually know, let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look at this here. Hey, I mean, I believe you actually put you ever actually uh, know this game that I uploaded to my uh, the game damn channel, right? Let's go for Nexon Zombies. For all the Call of Duty fans too. Oh, and guess what? The actual zomb the, the actual uh, game itself is free to play. But of course, like uh, like the regular game, you got all the uh, you got all here the uh, the DLC to buy and actually uh, own the game for yourself and why not? But that also means too that season to have some paid content might actually be a little bit risky too. Because like I like I said, I mean I don't know how things can update or what could be added or removed. Like uh, talking to uh, a Steam representative that they could actually reply to you and actually and actually get things done, right? I mean that could be an option, but not necessarily. And of course, I mean I find it I find it actually good to actually interact with the users. Why is that? It's simple because we actually 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 get to know if that person is actually well satisfied with what's actually going on, and that's pretty fucking creepy. But like I say, get well satisfied or not, and 
see what things to add to remove why not but uh, we never know we never know I, well, I just want to be sure that uh, things actually could be could be running went well or not and even mini guns and whatnot but you know in a gun game that I the only one that I actually managed to touch around some pretty cool stuff but never some different stuff but hey but hey I mean if you like uh, anime and if you like a uh, kind of strike then this game is certainly for you I mean I don't know you just uh, you can just get the damn thing for fun and just call it a day just have fun you don't actually need to uh, screw some of the people's lives or not, but hey, I mean, it depends. It depends. Sure, I know that I guess actually uh, based off, let's say, the old, uh, call, all the, uh, you know, the, the old Counter Strike and whatnot, but still, you shouldn't really need to actually just haggle on to everyone, not, but still, I mean, even I, even I did, a, of course, a, a look up over here. The free Steam Wallet co cards are they harmful or just a traffic scam? Well, if you actually, actually want to know my true opinion on that, well, like I said it once again, both. Because it's not just one person who's doing that. It's a whole community of hackers and whatnot that who knows what, I, what they actually might be might be onto it. You can actually just uh, poke around the, the link here in this and see it for yourself to just do some coding and see about it but like you said as well too just to, just to finalize it on the steam on the steam topic of uh, free gift cards and on the best even put like the same the same uh, the same thing here but yeah but yeah as I was saying as well too that uh, it's a community of hackers that they do actually do want to, to get their hand to get their hands on and everything just screw it but does that mean that hackers are actually immune to scam or not? Of course not. Hackers are just like people too. When actually you're expecting at least to. Even you know some scammer. Might scam, might scam a hacker. It might scam another scammer. We don't know. At all. Even of course the Pro PC Cleaner. I mean shout out to Vine Sauce for you know. Making a meme out of that. Cause you know I. I sadly had fallen you know once before in my computer effort this one no it's actually another one before this one that what was this one I don't remember that uh, it actually I actually had installed a pro PC cleaner that fucked up my computer to shit and so I actually had to go to technician and you know we had to install everything fresh cleanup but it was like uh, yeah it was yeah, it was Windows 10 when I when I once had it. That uh, well, at least they had uh, had the option to let's say fully re fully reset the computer. The Pro PC Cleaner had literally, you know, the you know the start button here. It wasn't working anymore. I shit you not. And of course, because of that, it's just. Uh, I mean, because of that, I mean, it was just like a dead giveaway that something was wrong and I couldn't even access it well. So. At the time, of course, I could have contacted Microsoft, and hey, I mean, actually, guy, actually, got got me through. It's a pretty good, pretty, uh, they're pretty, uh, we're pretty helpful guys. But and what days that they don't actually, I don't think they might be all that helpful anymore. And just uh, let's say offering free help or not, of course, from themselves. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel actually too greedy or. Or what? Actually, just do a lot of things and whatnot to just make sure that all that mean the production would become to my hand, or not? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, just uh, usually, just just keep in mind, of course, of all the scams and whatnot. That, uh, of course, when when when, of course, that uh, whatever the funds get into, let's say, someone's accounts mysteriously. Then you should always just get to get that itch behind the ear and start poking around. Maybe someone could have actually, uh, I don't know, gave you a surprise. But first, before you actually go, fall into that little uh, comfort, I would advise you to actually, to actually just poke around some friends and uh, see how, and see how if they actually gave you like a like a gift card or not but sometimes always be skeptical because sometimes you know 
Even friend, even friend that human humans may not always be all that. Yes, trustworthy. So in the meanwhile, as well too, that uh, that uh, I'd always be, let's say, just just put on some highly prevent preventive message just to make sure that things would just be actually okay, and of course the funds are actually legitimate too. It doesn't mean that I actually wouldn't. No one actually would refuse the funds, which, of course, to some extent, I know that people do want to have want to have the funds so they can just buy their shit on for games or whatnot. It's actually quite a, it's actually quite understandable too, but does it mean I can be comfortable with all that? Doesn't mean so. Of course, just do make sure that uh, all the funds are legitimate. If not, then then just do be careful. You don't wanna. You wanna end up with a very empty, with a with an empty Steam inventory because of a little click you put on the wrong on the wrong link, and then you have yourself an empty Steam account, and the bastard who stole you got your number, and every time that you buy something, he'll just dial on you and claim every single thing. That you bought yourself to it. But I don't know. I'm just, of course, uh, dramatic, making, you know, big like a bit of a comedy. Obviously, what I usually imagine of all this or not. But then again, it is what it is. Just uh, be safe. Just don't go clicking around just because I say free, free funds and whatnot. Because funds are not free. And even, of course, your free funds that they could mean actually some sort of a robbery, too. Maybe someone's going to rob you, or you might have accidentally robbed someone, and they'll and they'll dial on you on any time given. But yeah, I mean, of course, it's just of course a little PSA about uh, free gift, free Steam gift cards. Now I know that this might not always be, like, say, the uh, the only video that someone might have made, but still, take caution, okay? Stay cautious because I know that you pay for a lot of games on Steam and whatnot. So I'm actually over have 9,000 games paid and whatnot. And I can actually say, tell why because sometimes even Steam can actually give some sort of very very cheap games too. Don't believe me? Let's let's poke around. Just because I poke around, but then again, you can actually poke off for another video or see about and think. But I'm just I'm just poking around here just to, hmm. For you, for you just to just to poke around, to just to see about. Uh... Wow, wait, eighty bucks. Hold on, hold on. So sorry, sorry to interrupt at this, but uh, let me get my calculator, just to be sure, just to be sure. So that's uh, twenty-seven ninety-nine. What's ninety-nine? Let's just uh, let's, let's just put on say onto twenty-eight, for instance. 28 plus 20 actually screw that scratch that uh, 28 plus uh, 21 plus 15 plus 17 equals well that actually pretty got them true anyways you use actually the result to actually take a look at of course, I always prefer I, I do hate doing the math, but hey, I mean I, I'm just I'm skeptical to the point. But still, cheap games that that I said as well, like uh, people just buying it all the way. Uh, by another way, let's go for uh, let's say we're gonna buy some cheap action games, yeah, and we wanted to, well, uh, of course. Let's see about the indie games, maybe, because sometimes even the indie games are quite cheap by themselves, as far as I know. Or free. Well, seems pretty interesting, I'd say. Seems pretty interesting. What do you guys think that I should actually play around some indie games, some free ones? I could do that, but, I mean, it depends on which one what we're talking about. There's even RPG. But then again, are the classical of the say like Resident Evil One and Two and so on, are they like uh, RPG games? I, th I think so. I think so. Well, yeah. 
But yeah, so then again, just to just the ones you can actually go poke around some Steam summer sales and whatnot. And yeah, I mean, sorry if I just wasted your time or not. I mean, I just did just one just for the heck of it. Now, of course, I'm not just attacking a scammer that one night because, because if I was actually attacking, I would be like, uh, hold on a sec. I just, I just happen to have, let's say, the ideal hardware for that stuff. So in the meanwhile, let me just go into, let's say, my, into, let's see right here. Hey, had a look. Okay, so, he, all right. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, action. Uh, guys, I've actually seen about the, this, uh, site here, uh, yeah, uh, let me just, uh, put the link here. Fuck. Uh, yeah, see, that, that is the link there, see, if, uh, uh you can, uh, attack it, uh, 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 that would be pretty good, man, so, yeah, uh, Give me all your money on Patreon and uh, subscribe and uh, uh, give a like. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, cut. Usually I have to keep on because you keep on going because you already have the uh, the idea of it. I mean, of course, I'm not attacking. I'm just a showcasing. But if you do want to actually try it, by all means, you're a free human being. You can actually do whatever the hell you want. But yeah. So then again, I hope you enjoyed this one because I did. It's like a, this, this one is a bit of a shit post, shit take, or whatnot. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one this one I did. I look for, let's look for the next one. So I will see you next time. And until then, you're the damn thing. Hey, no, no, no.